Good morning. Good morning. Welcome back to the channel. Oh, turn the light on. This is the way to start off a weekly vlog. So I took our son to what do you call it? Football practice. So y'all already know he was going to strength, I guess strength and conditioning camp. Um that's over with. Now it's actually football practices for the actual schools. Um, so his school hosted the strength and conditioning camp for this uh, this summer. His new school. But I guess the physical and everything went through was only good enough for strength and conditioning camp. So all that stuff has to be transferred to his school profile because today they're supposed to pick up equipment. He can't pick up equipment because there's nothing in his school profile. I think I have that paperwork. Yeah, I have that physical and all that. I got all the physical paperwork and all that because I had to email it in to whoever. To the coordinator for the school. So now, either I got to speak with the athletic director and try to say, hey, can y'all put this inside his pro his profile since he belongs to your school anyway? Or something. But yeah, he just gave me a call talking about, you got to come back and pick me up. Do only been there for 30 minutes. I'm tired. It's 6 o'clock in the morning. I'm probably retired. I'm probably getting up this early. But then I kind of like getting up this early. Get your day started. It reminds me of what I used to do. <laughs> get up and get your day started. All right, so if I do that, I'll go get him. Come back. I already started my coffee. Got my coffee. You guys saw that. I started to take out the trash. That what he's supposed to do before he left, but he didn't do it. So now when he gets back, he can take out the rest of the trash. Because we light outside, so he got it. All right, fam. Let's get this weekly vlog started on this Monday. All right, so I think the last time y'all saw me was this morning. I'm up now. I need to go get my. Let me go get my bedroom slippers on because this, y'all, this floor hurt my feet. Nice house, but this floor hurt my feet. Walk on any bare floor, barefooted, hurts my feet. So, I don't know. Y'all see me in the background getting ready. So Cece's getting ready for. I don't know if it's a TikTok or if it's a um I don't think it's a video, I think it's a TikTok. Those slippers right right there waiting on me. But yeah, last thing I saw was this morning taking out when I started the video off, taking out trash, all the taking grace in the football practice. Then I had to go back and get them. I don't know if I don't know if I showed you guys that or not. I had to go back and get them early because uh there's some more paperwork we had to fill out, so we got that done today. Then I was tired for the rest of the day. So, this girl been ordering boxes after boxes. And I ain't talking about, I ain't talking about CC, I'm talking about Soraya. Now she got a vanity. And guess who got put it together? Not her. So, but I'm gonna go in here and do my husband duties, help CC with her reel. So, again, make sure y'all go over to CC's World TV on all platforms right which is where you can find this reel so because i'm about to taste it out um and go from there so let me put this down so i can help out and i'll pick you guys back up when i'm tasked to put together a vanity that she ain't helped me with what no i don't know if y'all seen cc uh TikTok. Real. 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 Thank you, babe. See her real, but look. Ooh, y'all look at this. Let's look at it. Oh. Mm. I know what y'all saying. D, you always eating on your channel. Shut up, Gabe. Own kids try to come after you. And I did. Mm -mm -mm. Bye, y'all. All right, guys. So, finally got done with the cookies. But it's like 7 o'clock, almost 8 o'clock. Look how bright it is out here. But I want to try out this lawnmower. I'm not going to do the whole yard. I may just do the curved area over here. Um, but I just want to test it out. And then I think tomorrow I'll get up and actually cut the grass. But I just want to see how well it does and if what level I need to put it on. 
because uh, I think I'm going to cut the grass all the way down. Then want to take control of the weeds, do another treatment, get the weeds out of here. And then so it can be healthy as well. And then I know with Bermuda grass, you have to keep cutting it. So if I cut it on tomorrow, just check it out, do Tuesday, then I cut it again like maybe Friday or Saturday. Um, and then I just keep maybe Tuesdays and Saturdays would be my days to cut the grass um, until it gets back thick. And it has that, you know how some people have that grass? Well, I don't know if you can see it over here. Um, they got it across the way, but where it looked like, like a carpet, like a thick piece of carpet. Um, and it's plush, but it's thick and green. So I'm trying to get my grass like that. Even the grass over here is kind of brown. Um, so they said normally it goes dormant either because either getting overwatered, not getting watered enough, no telling. Um, and they said sometimes for the heat, it goes dormant like that. Um, but yeah, so we'll see. It doesn't supposed to go brown until like, I want to say November, November through March is when the grass is supposed to go like a brown color, still get thick, but supposed to go brown and don't grow anymore until the summer comes back. April time start to get green, you got to cut it. Mostly how you start off, you cut it down and activate it. So I don't know. First time homeowner. First time I really, no, I cut grass before even in the other houses that we rented, but I didn't care about the grass. I just cut the grass. And I was like, you got to treat your lawn, figure it out. It's a lot. So let me see if I get this thing working. <laughs> Enjoy your drink mm -hmm. from the Asian store. Mm -hmm. All right, y'all. So Cece had just got done doing a haul. Camera, be careful. Doing a haul from her. Uh, what do you call it? From the Asian store. What's the H March? H Mart. It was all, it's an Asian town, so Korean food, um, Indian food. You know, I don't think Indian is an Asian, but yeah, I guess it is, yeah. Japanese food. And everything you can think of was in there. Oh my God, these plants die. Yeah, they fell down, but they ain't doing so well. But I know she said these ones are dramatic up here and they bounce back. She said once they get watered, they're fine. But I'm about to do some edging on my yeah. property and see how that works i got a new a new toy it else. So. It's just, uh, the, he's so excited to be out here mm-hmm but the, no put it back where your mom had it because she got that's where it's going um did you go find your gloves in your room yeah. now let me do a little bit of edging yeah. So I got this Ryobi Edger. So, everything Ryobi, y'all. And this is my second Ryobi lawnmower. That's another one that isn't good. The battery didn't work. Somebody went wrong with battery, so I'm gonna get the replaced battery. It's more of a heavy duty lawnmower than this one is, and it's louder. But this one is quiet. Like you can cut grass at night, and your neighbors may not hear you. But it cut grass perfectly. So. But we'll get this edger started and I'm gonna go out here and edge one little thing, sidewalk or something, we'll figure out. I don't know, we'll go figure it out. So I don't know how well you guys can see it out here because it's nighttime. But my first time ever edging a yard. So I think I did alright. Get better. I need to get rid of these things on the that like, goes out over the sidewalk. So I know we take some elbow grease and get out there with a shovel or something. Pick it up. You might can see better than out here. First time ever using the edger. I'm trying to get that, you know, stick of the yard, get some of the overgrowth out of the sidewalk later. Or maybe when I go back again with the edger, I'll be able to get more precise. So, all right. She even got Gabe out here in his pajamas helping out. 
<laughs> so we'll see you guys so yeah, I'm gonna call it night. I'm gonna put some of this stuff up and I'm gonna finish helping them but for you guys for this part of the clip call this a night and I'll see you guys in the morning I don't know if you guys can see me or hear me we're by the freeway oh, but I've been recording all week well since the last time y'all saw me cutting grass now we out here getting some chicken for over there and some tacos some taco fugo so I'm gonna show you guys And I know you might say, y'all always eat it, but that's what I'm good at. That's what I'm good at. I'm good at eating. St stick with what you know. All right, let's see here. Y'all look at this menu. And that's the other place, you guys. Cluck City Cluckers. Y'all already seen me eat before, ain't nothing special. I ain't gonna show you, I ain't gonna show you me eating. But I'll let I'll come back and let you know before the night is over if the food was good. So I got a cluck it like it's hot combo from Clutch City Cluckers. And then from Taco Fergo, I got the Texan taco. But no jalapenos. So they love jalapenos here. I don't know why. But everything got jalapenos on it. So Got about five more minutes and go get our food. Already tasted my taco, y'all. It's good. A little kick in it, but it's not bad. If I say it's not bad with a little kick, it's not bad. It is good. A lot of flavor. Who should have the burial tacos? She said, hands down. She come back here from now on to get tacos. So it's that good, y'all. So today we ain't do much. We just out furniture shopping, y'all. It's, it's a lot. Furniture shopping, bedroom shopping, for the bedroom, the living room, the gas room. Just looking around, see what's out there. Um, so when we're ready to pull the trigger, we can, but got good news today. Our furniture is on the way from North Carolina here to Texas. So they picked it up yesterday, so it's on its way here. But we'll know exactly when it will get here. It has to get here before the 21st. But I hope it gets here earlier because I want to get the kids situated before school start um, soon. So. But we still got a lot of household stuff to take care of. The vehicles, we got to take care of that. So that'll be all next week. So y'all see that next week vlog, us take care of the vehicles. And the process, if you ever move to Texas, what it means to take care of vehicles, how you have to do it in Texas. Um, but let's just see. They even got the little symbol on it. I ate most of the fries, but the fries are all right. Who else to got all this chicken? A little coleslaw dressing in there. Some sauce. Pickle. I ain't really fond of that, but I'm gonna let it ride. Maybe it tastes good. I'm gonna let it ride. All right, I'm getting us a try. Hello, family. Welcome back. Um, oh, I got a lot of footage left on this camera. Oh, I got three hours. I must have cleared it. <laughs> Anyways, welcome back. Y'all, we into a lot of stuff. So, I'm pretty sure y'all gonna see this soon. The CC vlog, she got her egg chair. I had to get a ladder. We got some fans from Home Depot. So now I'm about to grab my pressure washer wherever it's at, back here. And um, pressure washer's back porch. So, I can go ahead and put her fan and put her chair out there. I need to look for my pressure washer. Oh, I see it. My other right over stuff. Y'all, we gotta clean this stuff up. But probably like, don't clean it because it's gonna look just like this soon. And if you don't know where this stuff gonna go, you might well just hold on to it because hopefully your household stuff comes in soon. So they just picked that up on Tuesday uh, from North Carolina bringing it here. So your household stuff is coming. So I would give it time. So I see nail pops in the wall, um, which they said that is normal uh, with new constructions. And when the house settles, you get some nail pops. So I'm starting to see nail pops over here. 
which is fine. All they do is, and then we can do it two years down the line with then more nail pops, hammer them back in, and we they give us touch-up paint, so the matchup, which works out perfectly. All right, so let me get this stuff out of here, or get back here to get to this uh, crushed washer. Then we'll go and clean off this deck. All right, have the backyard cleaned off, or the back patio cleaned off. I'll turn the water on. That's sure that's flowing normal to the pressure washer. And then what we're gonna do is squeeze the nozzle on the pressure washer to let the water flow through it. Put the safety on, take safety off. I'm kind of letting the water flow through it, okay. We got a straight stream of water, no air. We're just going to let air out so you kind of fit it a little bit. And then we'll, there we go. So we got air. Okay, so it was air. And now we got, so my son, when he uses, he doesn't know. I have, there's a cleaning container on the pressure washer where you can put stuff like whatever soap you're going to put in there. But one thing, it sucks it up a lot and then it holds on to it. So whenever I use this, it's always going, wherever solution is in there, it's going to pull it. But yeah, so now, as you see the white stuff on there, that's all soap coming out of it. The little residue of soap. So when it's set, the soap, you know, trickles down the hose and get mixed in the water. So, but they let me know all the air is out, so I'm about to turn it on, and then we're about to get this back patio wash. So. Well, let me see what CC and Grayson next. Because Grayson was out here and he left. It's kind of weird. Because normally he's nosy. All right. So, CC did go get Soraya, which Grayson jumped in the car real quickly with her. So, he's accounted for. But now, I'm about to get my cup. And y'all seen this famous cup plenty of times. Had my juice in it from yesterday. But I'm gonna add some water to it. I'm loving, I'm telling you, I'm loving this fridge with this beverage center. Cause I don't want to take the time out to just use a water dispenser, just a pitcher always full of water. Cause boy, I don't know if y'all remember an RV. Well, I don't think we really showed it, but we had to stay on top of them kids to keep the Berkey filled with water. So, so we have fresh filtered water in the RV instead of drinking from whatever water system they supply. Oh my God, amazing. Okay. So once I'm done with this pressure washer, I'm gonna do the little light switch. I'm gonna pop the caps off one of them, see what I'm working with, turn power off and do what I gotta do. So you know, I'll sit back and watch this pressure washing, I guess. It's like y'all never seen one before, but here y'all go. It's Dean's version. I said, stir, stir, all niggas. Stir up, all niggas. Stir down, you acting like me. Acting like we was more than a summer flag. I said farewell, you took it well. I miss, I won't cry, I bust the milk Feed a paper towel, give me another valley Give me another hour or two, hour or two Why you bother me when you know you don't want me? Why you bother me when you know you got a woman? Why you hit me when you know you know better? Know you know better, know you grew better than you do Call me looking for you, I be looking for you Got me looking for it to weaken your strawberry
I'll call you when I need you to look at the pants and all that. All right, y'all. So I'm about to go ahead and look at these pants. See what I'm dealing with. Let me turn the power off. Let me see what I'm dealing with first with these pants. All right, guys. The moment of truth. Let me turn the power back on. Hopefully, ain't nothing going on fire out there. I'm not an electrician, but I do remember putting up pants with my daddy <laughs> in our house. So. so, let's hit this switch button. I don't know which one it is. Let's see if lights or something come on. All right, go ahead and press it. Let's see. No, the other ones. Huh? The other switches. Okay. Yeah, right there above you. So lights, okay. We know it's the lights. Press the other one. See which one? No. Yeah. Yes, okay, that one didn't work. Keep going. The next one. Let's see. Unless I completely did it wrong, y'all. It's not why something ain't wired up right up there. Cause the remote is on. Ah, gotta go back out there and try. Check it again. I told you I ain't know that trick. Find what wires going with what, what wires and what's wires. No, I should have did the wires first before I completely did it. All right, which is simple. I can just take the stuff down, put some wires to some stuff and see what happens. All right, y'all. Take number two. Woo! Good morning. Things to do, people to see. We gotta get our yard together. So I'll make sure I got these straps. We'll grab up the greatest straps. So Cece just took Sarah out of work, which I realized she got my wallet. So I need to go get my wallet. I'm gonna holler at y'all later. So I got my wallet We're on the road. I'm in here right at the entrance. Coming out of our house um, area. I would say complex was not a complex. There's a little housing subdivision, whatever you want to call it. All right, you guys. So we got 20 minutes to get there. Woo. I know somebody said, "Well, D, where are you going?" So this morning, when we moved here, they had offered a well in one of the groups in our community. They were saying it was offering a class to learn about your lawn, your soil. And all these things, so I like. Well, I may well take, and this is a free class. I said I may well take the investment and the opportunity because I don't know anything about our grass, our lawn, our soil. You know what type it is, or anything like that. So it was just an opportunity, an investment. So I took advantage of it. I'm headed there. I don't know if I'm gonna be late. That car looked for my wallet and I realized what's in the car. Um, so I don't know, but I doubt I, I should be on time. I know exactly where I'm going. So, the question is, how fast can I get there? And I knew. But yeah, but we got some other things in store for today. Today, we'll be busy. Um, I think. Once I get done with my class, my class is only like two hours. And once I get done, I think Cece wants to take the kids back to school shopping because they start school not next week, week after next. So next week is the last full week. So that's going to be interesting. But yeah, they start back to school shopping then. And pretty much it. So we're excited though. So we're about to. So let me get on the road, focus on the road. Let me get to this class. Then I either take you guys in there with me for a little bit, um, or hopefully seen a real or a short or something I made about this, and we'll call it a day. All right, y'all. All right, y'all. So class is done. Your boy, y'all, y'all wait for this yard. I'll be on point. So I learned a lot. I appreciate them. Texas A M Texas A and M. Um, university for sponsoring this class, so we'll see how this grass gonna turn out. Ooh, y'all, four hours. I don't know why my head I thought it was two hours. When you get from 8 30 to 12 30, it was two hours. I don't know why. I'm like, oh, 8 12, two hours, I'll be in and out. 
Now I got there, I'm like, two hours pass. It's only 10 30. It's not 12 30 yet. I got two more hours to go. And it was there for them four hours. But I sat through it. It was some nice information. Something about that. But definitely with the lawn, um, went over that, how to take care of our lawn, what type of lawn we have, um, how much water it actually needs, and all that. So I had to go back. I got some homework to do. But I got time. So like I said, today we'll take the kids going shopping. Everybody's at home but me, so I'm on my way there now. And I think that's pretty much it. So I just want to come back and let you guys know I'm done. And it was some good information. So I really appreciate it. I'm kind of proud that I took the time out to actually attend this class and learn about. I mean, because this not saying it's our forever home, but this is a for a while home. So I need to learn how to take care of what we invest in. Take care of your investment. So I had it was a free class, so it will be a lot of good information. Um a lot of good information and definitely the publications and the books. I looked at the prices, some of these books like fifty dollars each, uh, for the publications and stuff like that. And we got it for free, so I can't complain. Um, so just investing in your investment. So, all right, let me get on back. Enough rambling. All right, you guys, so we're in the mall. The kids just left going grocery shopping. So, we see this giraffe here. And Grace will want to take a picture, so I'm gonna put this camera up and we're gonna take a picture right here. So the kids are grocery shopping. So you see the giraffe. The kids are grocery shopping. They not grocery shopping. I mean, um, the kids are shopping for school clothes. So CC gave them money on their cards, and they left. They gone. So we about to back to school shop for this little man. He needs what? He needs shoes. There's some shoes. So yeah, I don't know where the kids went. They disappeared now. But they in the outlet mall, so they they got enough places to choose from. Oh All right, you guys. So the kids, I'm gonna do this quick. The music playing. In. The kids are still shopping. We hungry. I haven't eaten at all today, and it is 3:30. And I've been doing good though. I'm hungry, but I'm not like starving. I ain't like my blood sugar or dropping anything like that. But we all here. Ready to get something to eat? Somebody died for some cake. We gotta eat first. So we saw Gabe. Poor thing, y'all. These vendors are getting him <laughs> in the middle. You know, he got the little booth in the middle of the mall. Now they get it, my son. Poor child. He brought two things already. He got one, what, a couple shirts. Got some hand scrubbing. Got some hand scrubbing and cologne. What do you give about hand scrubbing and cologne? But well, them vendors are getting him. And I, but he gotta learn. He gotta learn. All right, y'all. We told him to say no. Just like drugs, say no. But all right. Good morning. The next day. Saturday, y'all saw the whole class I took the other day. But today we had to go get this boy his bed. So Krisha found an amazing bed set um, for like a quarter of the price, a fraction of the price, what it will cost us. So he has a whole bedroom set. So we about to go now. We have to apparently take it apart. People who has it don't have tools to take it apart. So we have to do that now. Take it apart, load it up in the truck, and bring it back here. But can't complain for the price that we was willing to pay for it. Um, yeah, it worked out. So, well, other than that, I'm gonna get this day started. It's Saturday. We really have much planned. I need to get uh, Soraya car working. For some reason, the lights stay on. If y'all know anything about that, like it's a four C Max, but the light stays on. The tail lights is weird. Not the headlights, but tail lights will stay on. Of course, drains the battery and it dies. Um, and they just recently started having it. was sitting for like almost, well, it wasn't sitting for that long, maybe a couple weeks, two weeks, if that. Um, and then it was being used, but then it had issues. So I'm trying to figure that out now. But other than that, we ain't on CC, we'll get on the road. We're only five minutes up the road, so. We're about to go. Oh, y'all. Mm -mm -mm. I need my coffee. I need my coffee. All right, I'll see y'all later. Got my coffee, y'all. So now we all to a good start. <sighs> Put that right there. Get on in here. So CC to bring herself on. Well, we got the place is only five minutes away. 
But you know how Cece like to be early. On time. She's sitting in the car. I can't do it. Not in that car. I bet it's hot now. But alright. I'll see you guys in a little bit once we get this furniture. Got Gabe here to help us get this furniture. And might as well. It's it. His back going on it now. His mama after he get to bed, then his mama gotta go back out in town and get him a mattress. I told him just get him a little foam uh, topper. That's what we need to get you. Get get him a, get some plywood, lay it down. It's a uh, box spring, and get that little foam top about this thick. That's all he need. He be sleeping on the floor anyway. That's why I don't need to sleep on the floor. Because I got a good mattress coming next week. A good mattress. Need some good. I got one that go like this. Oh, get up. I don't need help getting up. Oh, yeah. Thank you. See, y'all, that's why I like having him on my, my channel. Cause he's so disrespectful. I know you so disrespectful. Kids now, they don't respect their parents like they used to. Not like I used to respect respect my parents. I give my parents the utmost respect. You can ask my mama. Ask your grandma. I give her the utmost respect. Anyway, I'll see y'all after we get this bed. All right, y'all. So we're back. A lot has happened since this morning. Um, I told we went and got furniture. Um, so CC able to find a steal of a deal uh, for Gabriel's bedroom set. Um, and some other things, so then we took care of some other things. So I'm tired, but I had to go finish mounting his TV to the wall. So I'm about to do that. Cece's in here cooking uh, dinner right now. So while she's doing that, I'm gonna go get his TV done. Then I'm gonna come back down and, they, and assist her. I'm sure I got some tartar sauce. Tartar sauce? Mm -hmm. Oh, this is the time Sarai has been driving. Guess I'm going to Target to get some tartar sauce. Okay. All right, I'll you see y'all when I get TV back. Right. I'm out on the TV, need to go get some tartar sauce. So I'll see y'all. Let me hear we get this mountain TV mounted. Because I already know where it needs to go. I just need to make sure I hit a stud. And, oh. So, babe has blessed me with a easy to read, easy to use, Stud finer, and you know how we do over here in Ryobi household. But I like this little thing. I don't know if y'all can see this little thing poke out. Y'all see that poke out? Y'all see that? So it marks the center of the stud in the wall. So I know where to put the screw at, right in the middle of the stud. So I think that's perfect. And the lights here, when they light up, it'll tell you when you get close to the stud, where it starts at, where the stud starts, and where it ends at. As you get so it'll go all the way across. The lights will light up as you leave the stud. But then once you get in the middle of the stud, it'll tell you, hey, you're in the middle of the stud. So do a little pokey thing. Boop, 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 boop. So, all right, y'all. So let me, <laughs> all my tools are upstairs. So let me go up here and do what I need to do. Here, we get done. So it shouldn't take long. It should take about 10, 15 minutes to mount this TV. And then I need to go to Target. And get some um, stuff. What are you doing? Doing some Starbucks. Some Starbucks, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all. I'll be back. It, it looks right to you. It looks right. I guess oh, I worked. did. I worked hard. Yeah, but that's a little bit. Uh, we still lined up with the dress a little bit. You work hard. Yeah, drill holes so, in and everything. It's not bad. Maybe I can't ran into one little issue with the plate. But that's fine. And we can fix that plate later. Um, one side really doesn't lock in all the way, but the other side do. So long as he was up there, long he ain't moving and taking it down, which I doubt it. Uh, but it looks so much better now. First time, I think it's first time you had a mounted TV in your room, huh? Mm -hmm. Boy, 15 years up. 15, right? Mm -hmm. 15 years up, finally got a mounted TV. I mean, he only got about four more years before we move out of the house. Let me count your days. <laughs> all right, y'all, so I need to have him rush back. Well, I need to have him rush now to target but let's see you turn the tv on make sure it works let's see how it looks i'm gonna give y'all bed view okay that's your view right there okay okay netflix already hooked up 
PlayStation, Netflix, hooked up. You got Disney Plus and everything too. Not yet. Okay. All right, y'all. Well, I'm out of here. Got to go. Got to keep running. Ain't no rest. Ain't no rest for you know, for man in need. Yeah. Where everybody needs you, you just can't stop and rest. But I'm proud of myself. That's the second TV I ever mounted. So and I got to mount Soraya TV next and the guest bedroom TV when our stuff comes. So I feel more confident now in mounting. With the perfect tools, I feel more confident in mounting. All right, y'all. See you later. Good Sunday morning to you. I'm about to make my coffee and let it brew. Yo, I ain't got nothing planned for today, really. I might cut some grass. The backyard need to be done. I'm like a week in between the backyard and front yard. So I need to get the backyard done. But I don't know. Oh, you need to do something, but you don't want to do something. That's what I'm at. This look like Kramer. I know I drunk all my creamer. Let me get some more today, Sunday. CC's creamer. It's good though. I guess we really don't have to go grocery shopping because we still got three meals left. Oh, we need a catfish. So we got two meals left. So I guess we'll play it by ear this week. So there's more doing the golden caramel. I know I'm gonna do the sweet vanilla. I'm gonna do the golden combo this morning. Change it up. I'm gonna make it direct. Have my son go check the backyard, pick up whatever needs to be picked up out there before I walk through. So, we shall see. Alright, y'all. Let me enjoy this coffee. Y'all like my mug? Got it from Peggy and Dollar. So, Alright. On with a working dad's day. I need to finish putting this other fan together before tomorrow before they come check like, check electricity. So they already hung up all day and then they can plug it up. That's my goal. If I already have it hanging, then hopefully they can wire it for me. I mean, I got it wired, but they can do the final wiring. All right, y'all. Grass is cut. Y'all, I didn't already put my truck in the garage. So, there may be a possibility until we get this back and turn into a gym. I may can park the truck in here and leave both cars parked on the outside. So we drive them the most. So I leave the ride car parked on the outside and leave the truck parked in here. We'll see. But her battery's dead and I'm trying to jump start. Which now it looks like the lights are on, which is where it says this one talk about. So her lights come on without the car being started. The tail light stays on. And I don't get it. Her lights on the inside. I have to ride with you. Well, I'm not riding right now, but I got I'm trying to see something right quick. But I gotta figure out what's going on with this car. She need an oil change. Yes, that she need an oil change. We know that. All right, you guys. So, so our car is fixed for right now. That way, tomorrow I can go take get an inspection along with Creature Car and my truck. Um, but right now, I'm just trying to get some things ready. I here to go inside the recycle bin, so go out later tonight. I'm gonna break down a couple of these boxes. Got a couple more boxes to do. I get the address off them and break them down so they finish out a recycle bin. And then I'm gonna take you guys around the back where the recycle bin is at. So you guys see the grass. I'm so proud of myself. So grass is cut and car is fixed or it's jumped. So, all right, let me grab this box cutter. All right, y'all, so sorry for the AC running. But the backyard is cut. Walk y'all around so y'all can see it. Look at that, I'm so proud of myself. 
So I need to call him tomorrow about this wire. This is for our internet. It's supposed to go in the ground, so it's supposed to wrap it around and bring it all the way down the fence. So we're supposed to dench it or not dench it. Build a ditch or whatever. A trench. There you go. Um then cover it back up. So we shall see. Okay, we'll bring it all the way down, bring it across, and then carry it over. But we shall see, y'all. It goes to this box right here. Goes to the cable box right here. So, like I said, I need to call them tomorrow. Find out what's going on with them. Call the VA and get some stuff done. Make some other phone calls. But all right, let me take care of this garbage can all right so i still gotta put this fan together when i get back and hang it up kind of like the other one before people come tomorrow but right now i'm about to go grocery shopping so i'm gonna go ahead and um put y'all down because y'all seen this grocery shop ain't nothing special ain't nothing new but i'm loving this stanley cup stanley cup that cc got me Oh, so much and it stayed cold just gotta find a metal straw for it but I'm not in a rush because the plastic works just fine right now so everybody's getting ready about to go do this grocery shopping and then we about to head on back and then uh I may see you guys again before I close out this weekly vlog so that's what I do after I get done with everything I'll show you that I got it done maybe put up the fan um, I think that's all I got left to do today I'll show y'all the grass the grass is cut I'm proud of myself. It looks nice out there. Um, so ride cars, better is recharged, so it starts. I cut it off. The lights turned off. So we got all that to do this week. So let's see how it works tomorrow. I'm gonna start it up again tomorrow afternoon. See how it works. Turn it around for a little bit. Turn it off. Um, and then hopefully by we got a lot to do tomorrow, right? It's a lot going on tomorrow. So hopefully by Tuesday, we can take this these cars between Tuesday and Wednesday. Hopefully get the cars. Safety inspections done, and the DMV is come, first come first serve right in the morning. All right, I don't know if all bills. No vehicles don't have to be there for DMV. You just got to bring all the paperwork, registrations, and all that current registrations. So I got to make sure we bring all the other vehicle registrations. Make sure I have them in the morning. So sometime later this week, hopefully we'll make it to DMV to do the registrations. So we can start handing tow ropes, and so I can start handing handicap parking spots. <laughs> So, all right, we'll see y'all when we get back from the grocery Well, I'll see y'all later tonight. All right, y'all, we're back from grocery shopping. We got the food. So we just did some quick meals. CC got some salad, a rotisserie chicken, and some rolls. And we got some cake for dessert. So, we about to see how that works out. We about to see how that works out. Oh, you can let it on. I'm about to turn this off. Alexa, off. But all right, we'll see you guys. I won't. So... I'm just gonna end the vlog here. I'm just gonna go eat and get ready for Monday. So thank you so much for watching this weekly vlog. If you're new, again, thank you for stopping by on the channel. I hope you subscribe, subscribed. And if you're returning, thank you so much. We appreciate it. Other than that, you guys stay blessed. And we'll see you in the next weekly vlog. Goodbye. Let's see you, bro. Dang. What you say? Goodbye. <laughs> All right, y'all. I remember when we started